Hello! Welcome to Mathematics 6. For today's video, we will be learning about Jamdas. Jamdas means grouping symbols, exponents, multiplication, division, addition, and subtraction. It is commonly known before as PEMDAS. The P or parentheses has been replaced with a G or groupings because in solving order of operations, parentheses are not only used but other grouping symbols just like braces and brackets as well. The sequential order of the acronym GEMDAS is the key in solving order of operations. The order of operations can only be solved properly by following the GEMDAS rule. What does GEMDAS rule number one state? Simplify the operations inside the grouping symbols first. Grouping symbols are always done from the innermost set outward. Second, evaluate exponential expressions. Third, multiply and divide in the order they appear from left to right. Lastly, add and subtract in the order they appear from left to right. To have better understanding on Jamdas rule, let us solve the following examples. For example, one, Simplify 7 plus 8 times 2. In this example, the operations involved are multiplication and addition. If we will follow the Jamdas rule, first multiply 8 and 2. And the answer is 16. Then add 7 plus 16 is 23. So 7 plus 8 times 2 is 23. For example 2, simplify 6 plus 13 minus 5 divided by 2. In this example, the operations involved are groupings, division, addition, and subtraction. According to our Jamdas rule, first perform the operations inside the parentheses. So 13 minus 5 is 8. Next, divide 8 to 2. The answer is 4. Then add 6 plus 4 is 10. So 6 plus 13 minus 5 divided by 2 is 10. For example 3, simplify 18 plus 4 squared minus 3 times 10. The operations involved in this example are exponent, multiplication, addition, and subtraction. Jamdas rule says, simplify first the expression with exponent. 4 squared or 4 times 4 is 16. Next, perform multiplication. 3 times 10 is 30. Then perform addition. 18 plus 16 is 34. Lastly, perform subtraction. 34 minus 30 is 6. So 18 plus 4 squared minus 3 times 10 is 6. For example 4, simplify 7 minus 3 plus 5. The operations involved in this example are subtraction and addition. Addition and subtraction are interchangeable. Solve which comes first from left to right. Subtraction comes first, so 7 minus 3 is 4. Then perform addition. 4 plus 5 is 9. So 7 minus 3 plus 5 is 9. 
For example 5, simplify 36 minus 5 squared times 4. In this example, the operations involved are grouping, exponent, and multiplication. According to our gemda's rule, perform first the exponent inside the groupings. 5 squared or 5 times 5 is 25. Next, perform the operation inside the parentheses. 36 minus 25 is 11. Lastly, perform multiplication. 11 times 4 is 44. So 36 minus 5 squared times 4 is 44. For our exercise, I will give you five items to solve for the following order of operations. Here are the correct answers of our exercise. Let us try to see if you have gained something from our lesson today. For our quiz, kindly perform the indicated operations from numbers 1 to 5. Here are the correct answers of our five-item quiz. Before we end this video, please keep in mind the key ideas for today's lesson. GEMDAS stands for Groupings, Exponent, Multiplication, Division, Addition, and Subtraction. In solving order of operations, G and E should always be solved first, followed by any M and T from left to right. Look again from left to right and solve if there is any A and S. Hope you have learned something from our discussion today about GEMDAS. Always remember, math is easy, math is fun, love math, and math will love you. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for our incoming videos.